You see how crazy this snow is? See how yesterday I spent all day shoveling? Well, guess what I have to do today? Shovel. It's okay though. I don't, I currently don't have a job. I'm working this summer, but not now. And I could really use like a microphone for my camera. I need a new computer. I'd like to actually buy Final Cut Pro. I have Premiere, but I don't know if I like it that much. So I could use some money. I also need a better camera with better autofocus. 2,000 years later. That shoveling was ridiculous. We took, because it's all melting, it took a minute. So we're going to go home now. I'm going to tell you about the stuff I use. So I've got a meeting in like 15 minutes. So before I go to the meeting, I'm going to go over what I use. And then after the meeting, I'm going to go over why I use it. So first up, for pre-production and planning everything, I write all my scripts in Final Draft, and then I also like to use Microsoft Word and Google Docs. I use Microsoft Word for personal stuff because I hate cloud-based software, and then Google Docs because it's a lot easier to collaborate with people on it. That's kind of it. I've used this thing called Umondo. I think that's what it's called for a lot of my bigger planning, like shot lists and planning schedules and stuff. I'll probably use it more as this TV show continues. Of course, I also use notebook and paper, which is my favorite thing to use. Next thing we're gonna talk about is what I use to film. So first thing I use, I'm gonna talk about the camera. So this is the camera I use. This is a Canon Rebel T6 IRS. It's the one with the flip out screen. I covered these because this is like an entry level camera and nobody also cares about the camera you use or people shouldn't. Uh, on top of that, I also use my iPhone. This is an iPhone 11, whatever the one or three cameras is. It's not the newest one. And then on my camera, I like to write my name. I write my name on everything. That's like my phone number, but I cross it out because reasons. And then that's my lens. The one I shoot on right now is an 18 to 55. That's what I film a lot of my vlogs on, but in my film gear, I've got my 18, an extra 18 to 55. Uh, it's probably better. It may even have better autofocus, but I have this one right there and it works. So I use it. And then is the 55 to 200. This is the long lens. I never record audio with it because like makes noises, but it, I like the longness of it. Then when I continue in the desk, I have this Zoom H1N recorder. I would like a video mic or something to put on the camera, but this is what I use for like my voiceovers and everything. It's great, this is my memory card holder. A lot of my cards right now are in use, so that one's pretty empty. For the camera, for the lens. And then this is where I carry my batteries that are currently being charged right there. And this is my external hard drive, which I moved in there just for now. And then also for the setup, I have this Manfrotto tripod and I don't have a tripod head. So I just put on this really crappy fake gorilla pod. And it's probably the most used piece of film gear I've ever like used ever with the exception of the camera. So that's just for what I use personally when it comes to filming. I would never shoot a real deal short film on this stuff. And then moving on to post-production, I use Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere Pro. I use those two to edit and I use After Effects to do my compositing. Then the other thing I use is I use this really old like British version of the MacBook Pro. This is a 13 inch. I need a new one because it's only got eight gigs of RAM. So that's kind of the digs. I've got a meeting in five minutes for writing, hopefully getting this thing done. So I'll go and explain everything, but I'm done. Okay, it wasn't actually a meeting. It was more of a writing sesh. 
because of this movie we're working on. I'm really excited for it. So let's get into the why. To begin with, I've had Final Draft for a while. It's really expensive, but it's just what I have and I use it. A lot of the screenwriting applications nowadays export in FDX, which is what everything uses. And Final Draft here, it works great. I hate these cloud-based applications like Studio Binder. I think it's Studio Binder. I wrote an entire movie on that application online and it got completely ruined. It deleted the whole movie because it didn't save somehow. So I always work with these other applications. I used Fade In for a minute and I love that, but Final Draft is great, especially with the collaboration with my writing partner. We're both working in Final Draft. It's incredible. It's just so expensive. It was like 300 something bucks. I, it's really expensive. So moving into the post-production, I'm going to get into that before the production. The reason I use Final Cut over Premiere, when I have an idea, it takes less clicks to get from my idea to what I wanted. And luckily the way I film, I don't need a lot of ways to organize everything. I just throw in what camera I shot in and boom. And that's the worst part of Final Cut is the way that the folder structure is organized, the way Final Cut forces you to organize everything. I hate it. Really turning me off from actually editing a big deal movie in that program just because of how crazy terrible the folder structure is, which is the reason I would use Premiere to edit a bigger project just because of organization. Because there are people who edit and there are editors and editors organize everything. Which is why I'm probably going to still have to have Premiere and I hate it because it's so expensive. It's just the worst. If I'm working with people, that's the only thing I can do. Which sucks because I might have to cut this movie that I'm writing in Premiere. I don't want to do that. I want to cut it in Final Cut if I could just get the proper folder structure, if I could work with people that use Final Cut. Also, nobody uses Final Cut, everybody uses Premiere. So with all that being said, hopefully I cut it down to something that is manageable because I talk for like 10 minutes on this. So I'm gonna move into my production gear. I shoot on this crappy camera, but that's okay because I really enjoy using it. Well, I don't enjoy using it, but it gets the job done, it's reliable. I pick it up, it shoots, it does what it's supposed to do. It doesn't do it well, but it does what it's supposed to do. And I'm pretty sure it's the lens's fault with the autofocus. So if I try that other lens, maybe the autofocus will be better. Listen, the people I'm talking to right now don't know what an f-stop is, so I don't really think they care if it's used in 23.98 compared to 24. So I hope you enjoyed me talking about my gear. Gear is important, but it's not that important. So I just thought I'd discuss this because if you're wondering, I may do a behind the scenes on how I make these videos, but for now. A full apology. I'm so sorry, this is so boring. I didn't realize. It's really interesting in my head. Gear is like so interesting. You can spend hours looking at gear. And then I talk, just talk about it. It's the most boring thing I've ever cut together. Maybe I'll look at it later in hindsight, but I've got nine minutes of just boring. Uh, I'm gonna post this because I have an obligation. I'm really struggling with this. Mm, I have an idea for tomorrow's video that I really hope works. I don't wanna make boring videos. I wanna make one every day that's interesting. This is so boring, I'm so sorry. I have one more thing to say before I end the video that's in the previous clip, so. And I'm gonna end it now. But first, check out this really cool end screen that my cousin Robbie made. 